Hi everyone, welcome back to Mad About Cards and Crafts and another Brutus Monroe Design Team project. Today I'm creating five cards using one stencil. This layering ornament stencil is part of the Christmas release that was released last month in the Brutus Monroe store. Here I have a six by six piece of white cardstock and the first layer of the stencil. I am going to use Distress Oxide in Tumbled Glass and Prize Ribbon. You could color each of these ornaments in different colors if you did that, I would recommend that you use a smaller brush just so that you don't cross over your colors. This was quick and easy stenciling. This stencil allows you to create Christmas cards quick and easy. I am going to show you how you can add even more detail to these stencils to really pop the color and the interest on these cards. As I mentioned, I am going to be doing five cards with three backgrounds. This background is um, the first one. The second one is going to be created identically but with different colors. So for the second background that I blend off screen, I'm going to be using Spun Sugar, Kitsch Flamingo, and Picked Raspberry. I am going to add the same embossing, so I will be using Alabaster White Embossing Powder. Here I contaminated that tumbled glass. I accidentally put it in the wrong, the prized ribbon, so the wrong ink, and it was, because it's translucent, no, because it's opaque, I was able to easily ink blend it, and I did end up liking the color that I got with the tumbled glass and the prized ribbon. I thought that that was absolutely beautiful, so no harm, no foul. It ended up working out. I'm going to lift up this stencil, and I will show you stencil number two, which has a little bit more of that detail to it. You have an open circle on the shaped ornament and then you have kind of like a snowflake or starburst on the round one. I'm going to start by using that Distress Oxide in Hickory Smoke. Once I finish, I'll lift up my stencil and say, ooh, I really like this combination, and I'm going to add it to the other ornaments as well because I really liked the color combination. I'll quickly move on to the third stencil, which has just some fine details. For that, I'm going to bring in the Periwinkle glitter glaze. Now for the pink card, I do that off screen as well. And for that one, I use the clear fallen snow, which is, uh, you'll see just a little bit of uh, clear sparkly goodness. This is going to add a little bit more bling bling to my cards because you do know I love that bling bling. Once I finish stenciling this with this glitter glaze, I will take the stencil and the tool over to my sink and I will wash it thoroughly because if you let it dry, it will be you will be miserable because it will ruin your stencil. There's a quick look at that goodness. You can see what those three stencils look like, but we are going to add more detail to our cards. Here I've brought in that pink pattern so that you can see uh, the pink goodness from those layering stencils. And here's where I'm adding a little bit more detail. There is a sentiment in the seasonal wreath stamp set that says happy holidays. And I thought that I would heat emboss that in the center of each of those ornaments using um, some alabaster white embossing powder. I'm gonna show you the four ornaments that I did stamp with the sentiment but off camera, those half ornaments on the left and the right, I do end up bringing in that dot or that stamp and I do emboss that as well. Now you're going to hear a little bit of noise in the background and I'm going to apologize. I am on vacation in South Dakota at our home. We are getting our floors uh, some things repaired on our floors. So they're using saws and nail guns. And I'm just going to apologize if there's any background noise that you're going to hear. Here I'm using my embossing pen. So this has that clear ink in it. I'm going to add detail to the tops of these ornaments. So where you would normally hang your little hooks, I'm going to add that holiday sparkle embossing powder and again this is adding more detail to the stencil so i have a lot of sparkle going on i have a lot of interest Finally, I'm going to add some pearls to the center. I do have to make some adjustments with that because of my sentiment. Some of these pearls I did end up taking off, but I'm going to add the same pearls to both the blue and to the pink 
panels. When I start doing my embossing of my sentiments, I'm going to bring in the seasonal sentiments, which is filled with tons of Christmas sentimental goodies. And I'm going to be using my gilded embossing powder as well as my sterling sparkle embossing powder. I have a die that cuts a stitched rectangle and then it has a piece that can go behind it that is solid. So for the solid pieces, I did use gold and silver mirrored cardstock. And for all of the sentiments, I did end up using the vellum. Here I'm going on to panel number three. As you can see, I'm using some Catherine Pooler inks. We're going to be doing a little bit of emboss resisting. So this is going to allow me to add color to the white background. I'm starting with some hot tub ink on the round ornaments. I'm going to bring in the second layer and add a little bit more detail using sage ink. And then I'll bring back the first layer of the stencil and I'll take that same sage ink and I'm going to add it around the edges of these ornaments. And I like the little bit of dimension. It gives the uh, ornaments just a little bit more pop. Obviously, if you want to do just one color, you're going to be able to do the quick and easy cards that way. This is just adding more detail, another way to add detail to these stencils. Finally, I'm going to finish up the next two rows, and when I do that, I'm going to add the Skylight ink. And once I blend that Skylight ink out, I will finish off with the second layer, and that's going to be the Daydream. I love this color combination. I think that it's absolutely stunning. I think if I were to leave it with just the white background, I would have more of a retro style look, but I'm going to actually make this look a little bit more vintage. We are going to be bringing in some tea dye and some vintage photo distress ink. So here I'm adding a little bit of sage to the edges and look at how pretty that is. So here we are back with layer number two and this is where I'm gonna add that daydream. And again, I'm apologizing. As I said, I'm doing this voiceover while I'm on vacation. They're doing our floors here and um, I really didn't have much of a choice. So sorry about that background noise that you're hearing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe and ring the bell so that you're notified whenever I do upload a video. I do upload Brutus Monroe videos every Thursday, so every Thursday you can count on seeing all of the new uh, stamps, dies, and stencils that are available over in the store. Here I'm adding a little bit more of the, I'm adding, I'm sorry, the embossing ink, the clear embossing ink over the top. And this is going to allow me to add some clear embossing powder, which is going to trap that color down underneath and allow me to add that tea dye and vintage photo ink without... Uh, contaminating these ornaments. Now I did get it a little bit off center. You're going to see that there are a little bit of spots, but really truly it does not bother me at all. I think that this may be uh, my favorite uh, background of the three. So here we are. I'm going to start with a light layer of that tea dye, go over the top. I have that glossy goodness of at the top of these ornaments because I do have that clear embossing powder over the top and then I'll add that vintage photo. I do end up with five four and a quarter by five and a half inch cards. For this card panel I'm going to cut it down to four by five and a quarter. I am going to have a piece left so the the piece that's left is approximately an inch and a half. I will mount it onto another a piece of cardstock that coordinates with it that's going to be about a half inch bigger all the way around and that's going to allow me to use this panel on two cards. Here I've added a little bit of that ink using my Distress Sprayer. I have the Skylight and the Daydream and I am adding some splatters because you do know that I absolutely love my splatters on my cards. 
once I finish with this, we're gonna move on to cutting our panels down. I am going to be using, as I said, some mirrored cardstock. One of the silvers in the mirrored cardstock is absolutely beautiful. It is a little bit holographic. Here is a piece of Nina Desert Storm cardstock. I've added that daylight ink, which is heat embossable, and I'm adding some white or clear embossing powder over the top of it, and that's going to give this panel that little bit of pop. As you saw at the beginning, I did try to use, I started to use the uh, regular embossing powder. I thought about going in with gold, but I thought that tying in that daydream would really make this card pop even more. Here are the two sentiments. I am going to do two, actually I think I do two, three in vertical and two in horizontal orientation. This one I used the gilded embossing powder. This is the card panel that I did cut down to four by five and a quarter. I'm going to center that onto this card base. And then I'm going to bring in that second panel that I have cut down. And you see I do have that quarter inch border all the way around. I'm going to add that to the left side of my card. I'm going to mount this using some double sided tape to that gold mirrored cardstock and so when I come in with my blue card I kind of do this a little bit off camera and I apologize for that but I do end up putting the card together the same way. For my next set of cards I am using the stocking 6x6 stamp set so for the last one the last set of cards I used the gifts 6x6 for my stamping. Here I'm using that uh, silver sparkle embossing or sterling sparkle embossing powder and that's going to give me that beautiful sparkle you saw that that card right there i did miss putting that together so i do apologize i didn't film that but i did use my strip the same way and i cut it down with a, I cut a blue piece of cardstock down and then I added a, the mirrored cardstock to tie that in even more. I added some strips of that same silver mirrored cardstock to the top and the bottom. I cut this panel down to four by, let me think about this, four and a quarter by five and a quarter and I centered that onto the card. I added my sentiment and that was card number four. For this card, I decided only to create one card. You saw where I lost those pearls. This is cut down to three and a half by five and a half and I'm going to add that ribbon which is seam binding around the bottom portion of the card add a little bit of fun foam to this I will center it onto my four and a quarter by five and a half inch side folding card tie a bow from that same seam binding cut that down and instead of adding a sentiment I went ahead and just stuck with the happy holidays here's a look at all five cards featuring the layering ornament stencil all of the products are linked in the description box below. Here are a couple looks at my cards. I want to thank you so much for watching today. Until next time, have a fabulous day.